Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to walk you through the Smart HR, which is a complete HR management system that I've been working on for the past one month. So yeah, without any further ado, let's get started. Um, so first I need to start my white. I'm going to log in. Obviously, I'm logging in as a super admin. And as you can see, the, the dashboard is just plain empty. Like, there's nothing here. And yeah, I intend to, you know, bring in the widgets. But right now, what I want to show you is all the features that I've implemented so far. Right, I will be updating the dashboard pretty much soon. Maybe today I'll do that. Right, we have a chat app, and you can see with the chat application, you have like a uh, one view, one chat between users. So, in order for the chat to work, I'll need to enable WebSockets, which I have already done. So, I'm going to refresh. And yeah, you get the users listed. And if I actually open this up and uh, if I actually open it up in a different place, I can chat with any of the users that I have in the system. As you can see, we have some of the chats done already. Then we have our employees. We'll be able to create new employees you can view an employee profile you'll be able to enter their personal details right their emergency contacts their education right like the work experiences that they've had you want to keep record of all of that you can do that you can also add the family members and yeah Obviously, you can send a message and it, like, it'll send you to the chat and you'll be able to uh, chat with them. And you can see that we have assets here. These are the assets that have been assigned to this particular employee. You can view it, get more details on what exactly it is, get details on the asset and everything. Employee can raise an issue about the asset. Right, we have attendance. Right, you can, you know, you have a details of the employee attendance. You can see that they are all red because none of the employees have checked in today. You can filter by the employee name, the um, month, year of departments. You can add the employee, uh, the, the departments that you have in your company. When you're adding an employee, you will need to, you know, assign them to a department so it comes in handy. You have the designations. You have holidays. You can add holidays for the system. And you can have a calendar view of the holidays. Right? So if I were to add a holiday, uh, let's say Christmas. Uh, at 24, I will be uh, 12, December 25th, right? And maybe we'll make it a uh, January 2025, right? Exactly. You can select the color for it. I'm going to make it success. This is a holiday for 2025. 
you submit it. You get a notification telling you that it doesn't add it. And obviously, you wouldn't see it here, but if you go to December, you can see the date range for the um, holiday. Yeah, so basically, that's all we have there. We have clients. You can add clients to the system. You can chat with clients too, obviously. You can edit the details. And you can add a client if you want, if you wish to delete. So I like to delete, but I don't want to do that. So we have tickets. You can open up tickets. You can uh, manage tickets. You can edit the ticket. We have the details of the ticket. And you can also delete it. You can assign a user to a ticket. And when you assign a user to a ticket, they will get notified by email that they've been assigned a ticket. Also, the super admin gets an email notification whenever a user opens up a ticket. You can view the ticket details. Let's see, we have a ticket. And yeah, we have all the details of the ticket. You can chat through the ticket. If um, an employee opens up a ticket and they've been chatting, you will see the person that the, pers uh, the employee is chatting with. So you see who opened, you, you see the chat between the one who opened it up and then the person that you've assigned it to, right? Basically, you see the details of every chat. Administrator can also participate in the chat, but I don't want to do that though. All right, you can see it appears and you go to the other side of the employee and you will see that too. So you have users, you're going to add users to the system. You can edit the user details and you can delete the user. You have backups. This is used to keep track of, you know, your, your application backup. You can download a backup or delete it. You can create a full backup. You can uh, also Back up only the database or only the files if you want. Then we have the application settings. And in here, you enter your company details. Right? We have the localization. Select the country, the time zone, the currency that you want to use in the system. We have invoices. You select, you, you, you set up the prefix for the invoice and the logo that. You, Will appear on an invoice, right? You have a team. You'll be able to manage and you know update the features of the team. So let's say I change this to doc, and then I save it. Looks like I have not finished implementing that yet, but you should be able to change the colors and everything. So. Once I'm done with this, I will be updating that pretty much soon. The email settings is still under development too. And we have assets. You'll be able to manage your assets. You can delete an asset if you want. You can also view an asset for more details on the asset, just like the user. Right? And you can assign an asset to a user from here. And yeah, we have accounting. So accounting helps you keep track of your budget. So if you have, uh, if you want to keep track of budgets, you can categorize them. You can add new budgets, right? You can add a budget, a budget based on the project or the category, right? So if you select category, you're given a chance to select the category. You select project, you're given a chance to select the project. You have the title. You have your revenues, you can add multiple revenues. Hey, you add multiple revenues per expense, uh, per revenue, uh, you add multiple revenues per budget or multiple expenses per, per budget. And once you are adding them, the profit, your expected profit, your budget, like total budget amount will be automatically calculated for you and you can submit it up. You have the expenses, 
you can manage your budget expenses you can also manage your budget um, revenue you simply click on add and you have all the details that you need you have projects and this is uh, like a full project management system that we've integrated so you have a project title project details like a short description of the projects the start of the deadline the project lead you can add a project enter the name of the project the client the start the end date the rate you have the priority select your lead you can add your team you want you have a brief description you can upload files for it right then you can view your project for details brief description the full description you have the project lead the details you can go to tax board you can add new tax for the project i right? like to do so maybe Okay, first task, priority number one, start, the end date, enter a description. You can also assign it to a team. After that, you submit. Once you submit, see the first task, it'll be loaded with the details and everything. Yeah, you can move it to here if you want. The task will be updated automatically. As you can see, even if I refresh the page, it remains there. If you want to add a bot, you know, currently we have from to-do, in progress, pending on hold, up to complete. If you want to edit, you can edit it, you can edit the name. If you want to create a new board, you can just create a new board and add it up. Right? That's awesome. We have the rules and permissions. These are the default roles that come to the project. You have the super admin. You have the employee. You have the, uh, the client, the manager, and accountant. The super admin, you can view, you can assign permissions to the role, right? So you have all the permissions that have been given to it. Obviously, if you have a super admin login, we don't check for any of the permissions. So even if a super admin is not given certain permission, they still have access to the permission. So if you want to remove certain permissions for a particular user, you can do that. But for that super admin, they will be given access to everything automatically. So it doesn't really matter. You can edit the name of a role, right? You can view every role and the permissions, right? So. You can give them access to certain parts of the application. And once you do that and you log in as a user, you automatically remove the menu and the features for them. Right? You can delete the role. We have sales. Under sales, you have taxes. You can manage your taxes here. You have your expenses. You have your estimates. You have your invoices. Oh, and the invoices, you can actually download an invoice if you add one. I know it might take time, but let's do that. Right, so let's say it's paid. And I go up. Client address here. Given address, invoice due date and everything so let's say first item right let's say it costs about 10 let's say the second item let's say that costs like 200 right you can see that as you add all the details to be added we didn't give it a task you can add some discount if you want if I set up a discount, it'll just update it automatically. You can set it to zero if you want. The tax, you can update the tax. Let's say I want to apply that to it. It has to be applied. 
and the data we saved so you can just say oh, okay this is a note if you want to add more information if you click on save and send they will be emailed I have not set up an e uh, local email server I didn't start it so I could do that but let's see all right so I'm gonna save and send you can see that the invoice has been saved you can view the invoice get the details update the ID the, 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 the client address and everything will be here right you have the note if you want you can print it or you can download it as a PDF drop it downloaded and see that when I open it up it's pretty nice right okay so that's about the invoices the same thing applies for uh, estimates you can do that and then we have our, our whiteboard right and with the whiteboard it gives you the ability to you know kind of draw on the board like you can draw on the page and this is useful when you know you want to do some demonstrations or you know keep track of some things in application so all right, I can just put no here right yeah. what else I don't know basically you can draw it's just a full canvas you can draw as many times as you like and nothing will happen you can see even if I press the page the data will be saved into cache and yeah we still have the information that we need pretty okay, awesome right anyway that's about all the information that we need I have Escali draw I have not finished implementing this yet so but the features works great right so basically I am implementing like drawing applications so that you'll be able to draw in that web application this is useful for teams sometimes so yeah if you want to keep track of the development and how things will end make sure to check out my github I have the repository there and yeah check out the repository here if you want to keep track of the updates on the development you can also clone it and then you know edit it send your pull requests and everything or review it add new features and yeah that's about it thank you